everybody i'm shitaj and today we are going to learn how to use zustan in a next js project effortlessly because you might face some problems if you go on to try it yourself the first time this is a guide this is a complete guide step by step guide let's start right now let's begin let's get our feet wet let's get our hands dirty all right let's create a new next js file let's look up how to do that let's create yarn next cre create next app let's name it zustan tutorials because that's what this is of course we need typescript and of course we need eslint so we can write good quality code let's let it install now that next js has been installed let's go to the zustan documentation and see how to do the install zustan Let's run the script yarn add Zustan into our Node.js environment. Let's open it in Visual Studio Code. And here we go. Let's go into the client directory, the file based routing system, and clean out the template that we get with the default Next.js app. Let's type in something simple like hey. Let's run the application in development mode by running yarn dev. Now our site will be open in a few seconds. There it is. Let's go back to our code. Let's create a new folder in the root directory called store so we can implement our Zustan store. Here we go. Inside this Zustan store, I don't know how to implement Zustan. Let's go to the documentation and check it out. Let's copy and paste the code, but of course that is JavaScript code and TypeScript will have some things to say about this. Let's give this store a type. Since TypeScript loves taking in types, let's give it to them. Let's create the store type that we have already given to the store. Our bears is clearly a number, so let's give it that. Increase population takes nothing and returns nothing. It just has a side effect in the form of state. So it will return void. It is a function that returns void. And so we'll remove all bears because it also does the same thing. But before that, let's separate the actions and the properties of the store. The actions will change the properties of the store and the properties will hold the value for the store. Bears is the property being held by the store and increase population, increase the number of bears, remove all bears, removes all the bears. Let's export the use store so we can use it in the client, in the pages directory, in the client, basically the first page. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Let's import use store from the store. Let's use store and give a valid arrow function to the use store, a valid callback. And now we have all the recommendations because we typed that information in the store. If we hadn't typed that information in the store, then we wouldn't have been getting the uh, recommendations as we will see right now because I'm removing all the types and I'm going to give any to the state. Any is equivalent to unknown. We are not going to get any recommendations either way. Let's give it back the types because half of what use why we use TypeScript is the recommendations, is the intelligence, you know, the, the suggestions. Yeah, and they're back. Now we can use the <laughs> implementations. Let's store it in a binding, let's store it in a variable, and then use that variable to show that in our client in our browser. Let's check it out. And there it is. We have zero bears in our store right now. This comes from the initial value that we gave bears in the store over here, zero. Let's change it to three and there it is, it changes. Let me show it to you in a split screen of how it changes. There it is. All right, let's move on. 
we have uh, fetched the properties from the store but now let's fetch the properties and the actions from the store and we can do it as a list we will take the state inside the store and return a list full of everything that we want from the store send in our request and get back results that's how this works let's get it in a list there it is the user returns a list and we receive it as bears and increase population respectively one after the other the same order is maintained state dot bears will refer to be bears will refer to state dot bears and increase population will refer to state dot increase population number increase population is a function that returns a void remember that we'll use a button and on the click of this button we'll invoke the increase population function which changes the value of bears by 1 plus 1 and let's try it out let's give this a name increase population and now we go there it is it's working let's go all right one a few more for the road all right let's go back to the store and decrease some population of the bears because increasing is fine but who, who's going to balance out the scales right we have to murder some bears let's give it that a type so we can get that sweet typescript recommendations in the client all right let's duplicate the button and get a decrease and on the click of this button we are going to decrease the population but we'll have to first get it in the list as well on the top through use store of course it doesn't exist because we don't have it let's get it and now we have it decrease population and increase population both work unfortunately if we refresh this we are going to lose the state because the server sends another request uh, uh, whenever we refresh and send a request to the server for a new instance of the website it will send the initial state of zero for this we need to store it somehow what do we do let's check out how to persist this information in the local storage let's store it